In today's video, we'll compare for you two different island paradises, Aruba and Roatan, Honduras. Based on our experience of spending six months in Aruba and three months in Roatan. My name is Aaron, this is Plant Free. If you'd like a free and quick way to support the channel, subscribe and click the blue bell icon beside it so you always know when the next video is coming out. It just takes a second and it helps a lot. Help me help you. The comparison that we will provide today is somewhat of a hybrid between a tourist passing through and an expat relocating there long term. Because we've lived in each of these locations for three and six months, we have an experience that comes somewhere in between those two scenarios. One thing that's worth noting before we get started is both these locations, Roatan and Aruba, are island paradises. So regardless of which location you end up choosing, you'll be in a fantastic spot. With that said, there are some differences between these two locations that we thought were worth discussing so that you can compare them for yourselves. Let's start with the fun stuff, beach life. Both of these places have fantastic beaches towards the top end of the scale of any of the countries that we've visited or lived in. When you go beyond the beauty of the beaches themselves, there are some differences between these two locations, however. Roatan, for example, will have the advantage of a healthy, vibrant reef that you can walk off the shore and after a short swim be in some of the best free diving and scuba diving that we've ever experienced. Compared to Aruba, for example, that has scuba diving and snorkeling to a lesser degree, but still available somewhat. If you enjoy playing in the waves with activities like surfing, body surfing, things along those lines, Roatan is probably not going to be the location for you. Aruba is also not known for those kind of things, but if you do your research and talk to the locals, there are a couple of beaches on Aruba that we won't name that you can surf, body surf, and get into some pretty good waves. Let's touch on the overall vibe and people that you will encounter in these two locations. While both locations we encountered very helpful, giving and kind people, we would have to say that it's even more so this way in Aruba, in our experience. People were just a little friendlier, a little more kind and giving. And that's not to say that Roatan doesn't have these kinds of people because they certainly did. One example was uh, one night at around 2 a.m. I'd run out of gas with my scooter on the way back uh, from a night out. I can get 70 miles to the gallon on this hog. And there was virtually nobody around, but the first man that I came across was very helpful, went out of his way to help me get some gas and get back on my way. And so I don't want to give you the impression that the people in Rotan won't help you because they certainly will. I just would like to say that the people in Aruba, in our experience anyway, were some of the friendliest people we'd ever come across. They were jovial, going out of their way to be kind and helpful. And so that was one way the people of Aruba kind of set themselves apart between these two locations. When it comes to size of the islands and population, Aruba is approximately double the size and correspondingly double the population of Roatan. So one thing we notice about Aruba is that the traffic can get rather congested in comparison to Roatan. However, in Aruba, they sort of balance that out and combat that by having very courteous driving habits a lot of the times. Many of the intersections in Aruba don't have traffic lights and so the opportunity to make a left turn on normal traffic flow just isn't really an option. You will quite often find the traffic patterns on Aruba where the driver will stop for you, honk or flick their lights and wave you through to make that left turn that you otherwise wouldn't be able to make. Whereas in Roatan we didn't see any special concessions. Let's touch on the climate and rainfall differences between Aruba and Roatan. Aruba, for example, will generally, you will generally experience about one quarter of the rainfall that you will experience on Roatan. So for example, in the rainy months of the year, the Octobers, Novembers, Decembers, uh, in Roatan, you're probably likely to experience around 400 mils of rain per month compared to Aruba's rainy season, if you want to call it that, where you should expect to experience around 80 mils to 100 mils per month. When we lived in Aruba, I think it rained about four days, so there was virtually no discernible rainfall to speak of. I don't know if that was a, an off year, 
but it was very enjoyable for those of you who don't like being rained on. As compared to Roatan, if you're spending those same months in Roatan, you should expect to experience rain most days for some time of that day. Now it doesn't rain all day every day like it does in say Panama in the mountains, but you do get a significant rainfall in Roatan compared to Aruba. Personally, I don't love getting rained on, so I would tend to prefer Aruba over Roatan when it comes to rainfall. All right, on the subject of uh, food availability and restaurants between the two locations. Again, both Roatan and Aruba have pretty good availability of different products and services as compared to some of the other countries we've lived in. I will say that Aruba, having more of a Dutch influence and European influence, will have a wider array of products and services available through the grocery stores. Also, Aruba will have more of the Western franchises food-wise that you would recognize. Things like the Dunkin' Donuts, the Baskin Robbins, Domino's Pizza, etc. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing, but if you do get a hankering for Western food, uh, or specifically Western fast food, you'll have more of an option to do that in Aruba than you would in Roatan. With that uh, wider array of availability and products and services in Aruba, because of the European influence comes uh, price. So yes, you will have uh, the option of more products and services uh, on Aruba as compared to Roatan, but the cost of living will also be higher on Aruba significantly over a better cost of living, generally speaking, on Roatan. On the subject of spoken languages and people you will generally encounter in these two locations, English is widely spoken on both Roatan and Aruba, but it is important to note that there is more English spoken on Aruba and the people's attitude towards speaking English is friendlier. So what that means is they're generally speaking English a lot more often and when they encounter someone that speaks that language, they're more open to just speak it with them by default. Whereas on Roatan, there were several instances that we came across where if you didn't have Spanish in your repertoire, you would have to resort to basically uh, trades to get communication across. Right? <laughs> a bun. Is it a bun? Yeah. Looks like a bun. <laughs> On Aruba, that almost never happened, if ever, where we came across someone that couldn't speak English. Virtually everyone we came across on Aruba was able to speak and communicate in English to some degree. So if that's of value to you, let's say you don't have Spanish in your repertoire and things like communicating in another language make you uncomfortable, Aruba would be of advantage to you there. In our experience with these two locations, we encountered more Americans proportionally on Roatan than we did on Aruba. Then again, we saw lots of Americans in both locations, but I will say that on Aruba, because of the European and international influence, we saw more of a cross-section of tourists, expats, and visitors. Whereas uh, on Roatan, in our experience anyway, it was basically Venezuelans and Americans with a smattering of Canadians. So we'll leave that up to you, whether you find it valuable to have more Americans or less Americans in your experience. If you like what we're talking about in our videos, please click the like button and add yourself to the conversation in the comments below. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and thanks again for watching. My name is Air, and this is Plan Free. We'll see you again soon in the next video. Bye for now. Help me help you.